Each nation will be told to follow the gods that they knew. Some will follow the sun and some will even follow the moon. For those who worshipped idols, they will appear in plain view and walk them to the fire. Indeed, evil is what they were led to. All that will be left is the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a few people of the book whom Allah sent his signs to. And their Lord will say to them, what are you waiting for? They will say, we are waiting for our Lord as they stand waiting for their reward so Allah will reveal himself and make manifest his noble form and all those who worship him sincerely will prostrate onto the floor except for the hypocrites since they refused to submit they disbelieved inside their hearts so today their limbs became stiff Allah will show his slaves a sirat their lights will become lit a bridge across hell darkness surrounds it a long and slim path with hooks dangling from its side Ready to snatch the sinful and seize them inside You watch as the righteous pass as fast as a blink of an eye Some move like lightning, some like camels and some barely getting by You are standing on the edge, now is your time to shine Taking a deep breath, your mind is on the final prize Placing your first step, it's one foot at a time Slowly right then left Your eyes on the finish line Sharper than a knife And thinner than a strand of hair Following a dim light But you are almost there You can hear the hypocrites from behind Calling out in despair Give us some of your light For theirs was never truly there A man never entered their hearts For this day they never cared Were we not with you They yell as they find gloom in their affairs They have a flip themselves and doubted this moment would come wishful thinking deluded their minds until the shaitan had won so today no ransom will be taken from anyone your currency is good deeds and some people will have none and some people will have tons which group will you be among and the home of the hereafter is the final one <laughs> فتنتم أنفسكم وتربصتم وارتبتم وغرتكم الأماني وغرتكم الأماني حتى جاء أمر الله وغركم بالله On the day when the hypocrites, men and women will say to the believers, wait for us. Let us borrow something from your light. It will be said, turn back and seek a light. So a wall will be put up between them with a gate. Inside it will be mercy, and outside it will be torment. The hypocrites will call the believers, were we not with you? The believers will reply, yes, but you led yourselves into temptation. You look forward for our destruction. You doubted in faith, and you were deceived by false desires till the command of Allah came to pass. 
and Satan deceived you in respect of Allah. So on this day no ransom shall be taken from you, nor of those who disbelieved. Your abode is the fire. That is the proper place for you, and worst indeed is that destination. Imagine how it will be when every nation will be asked to follow the gods whom they took upon this earth, the humans and the idols whom they used to worship, and one after another they will line up behind these gods and be walked directly into the fire. And the only people left will be the believers. And so Allah Azza wa Jal will expose Himself to them and immediately they will recognize Him as their Lord and begin prostrating towards Him except for the hypocrites who will be unable to do so. After which Allah will reveal the Surat, this long narrow bridge, thinner than a hair and sharper than a sword, which will be completely engulfed in darkness. Allah will then equip each person with a light. The strength of his light will be proportional to the strength of that person's Iman. Underneath this bridge lies the blackness of hell. Your ears are filled with the screaming and roaring of this wild blazing beast and yet you are still commanded to walk over it. And ahead of you, some people are flying by as quickly as the blink of an eye while others are tripping and stumbling all along the way. And while you are walking, just for a brief moment, just out of curiosity, you decide to look down and take a glance. And that's when you see it, the home of every nightmare, a blazing pit of fire known as Jehennam.